Christopher. All right, I was reading through your writing. Good job here. A lot of trouble saving the GIF. Um, I, 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 boy, I wonder, you know, did you take a look at the announcement? The, the, let me just jump over to the course announcements right here. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. How, how do I want to do this? Let me see. Let's jump to the course announcements by doing this. Saving that GIF is covered in the announcement. Um, I'm sorry, the tutorial from five. Uh, this one right here, how to create your banner ad from your magazine ad. That shows you right at the end of that, shows you how to save that out as a GIF. So I, I would recommend that you take a look at that. Um, okay, where are we? Let's go ahead and take a look at your work. Um, I'm trying to see if you have anything else here. Uh, I don't know if Trump's image is just good research, playing around with to finally get that. Works retain the quality, color and is a lot of fun. Excellent, excellent, good job. All right, we're all pointing in the right direction. Let's go ahead and take a look. We've got the magazine ad and the banner ad, and I think the, the really the most obvious, well, first of all, let me start by saying that you are showing, you're, you're showing excellent proficiency in uh, the uh, objectives and, and the techniques associated with the, the project and the outcomes. Um, demanded from the project. So I think that you're showing X. And I just want to start by saying that. And I do have some recommendation, recommend, excuse me, some recommendations to make. And and uh, let's go ahead and get that banner ad, banner ad open along with the magazine. And so we, uh, there we go. Perfect. Everything is looking great. Okay. So as we can see, we do have a nice adaptation of the, the, the magazine ad in the banner ad. As a matter of fact, I think the banner ad's a lot more successful for, than the magazine ad. And the reason being is this, is it's just much more subtle. Um, this is very, this magazine ad is very, very aggressive. Um, you know, you've got these stripes and these really high contrasting colors. You got this high contrasting color here, the size of the, the mast image, the, the kind of the horizontal nature of the stripes as well as the type is is really creating a lot of um, uh, back and forth ver uh, horizontal movement and and I and, and then we come down here and this is just so subtle and so well timed and so well delivered so that is my only recommendation or I'm, I'm sorry I did that's not a recommendation I haven't made a recommendation yet but I would say that is my my, my only comment regarding the adaptation of the banner ad uh, from the magazine ad is the magazine ad has a considerably different visual demeanor associated with it so uh, one recommendation would be to use a crop of the background of the, the main image. And I don't, I'm not real sure how the quality is going to work out on that or how big that image is or how you're able to, but I would recommend using that image as a more prominent part, if not the entire background of the magazine. And depending on the quality of the image, watch my, when there, this is just an example too. If you crop that to eight by 10, you could theoretically even place the, the flowers. I think that's great placement right there. That looks fantastic as the, the flowers right on the part of the, uh, that portion of the, uh, the couch. I think it's great. I would recommend using that here as well. But if you can crop this, let me show you an example of what a crop would be. Now, if you crop to eight by 10 at 300 PPI or eight and a half by 11 at 300 PPI, and you set that crop something like this, that's gonna give you a wonderful playing field. And I, listen, I, I just want to reinforce, that's not optional. I'm just going for consistency in the campaign in your regard. Right now, you're showing extreme proficiency, which means that you're, 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 you're doing very well. Um, what I'm shooting for is uh, comments pertaining to the potential and possible inclusion of this piece in your student portfolio when that time comes. We want to keep this as consistent as possible. So uh, as I said, these the recommendations I'm making are not by any means required. Um, you do have a little bit of an issue in terms of uh, what we call adaptation, and that is the consistency of the ad, uh, adaptation from the magazine ad to the banner ad. So there could be a little bit of repercussion there in the fact that it's just visually um, somewhat inconsistent. So if you want to address that, that's fantastic. Otherwise, um, the only recommendations I have for 
the banner head is this. So let's go ahead and take your subhead right there and just tuck it right under there so that you're left aligned right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down, this rest relax, and somehow try to work it in over here somewhere. It might entail changing the color, but right now it's just kind of jammed up in there. And I think it's obvious that the only reason it's jammed up there is that's the only reason it's going to be visible. So that could entail a couple of things. It could entail moving this down a little bit, this image down a little bit in the composition, um, or replacing this, or even changing the color or something. But you have to figure out some kind of a way to to reduce all the type that's jammed up in the corner of that uh, that banner head. And then yeah, that's it, really. You got the mass image, you got everything, all the requirements. That's my only recommendation is, is to bring this away a little bit, kind of bring this, maybe even right down here, rest, relax, uh, retreat. Um, okay, so those are my recommendations. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But I would like to see you address those those recommendations in the banner ad and consider my comments for the magazine ad as well. Okay, and, and then of course, if you have any questions at all, anything at all, please let me know. All right, great, thank you very much.